Hello there, you guys. Uh, it's Ben here. I hope you're all doing well. It's good to be back uh, doing another YouTube video, I believe. It's been <coughs> about a week since I did my settings video. Maybe a week and a half since the... Closer to two weeks since the uh, Virgin America flight. At any rate, we're on the ground at JFK, uh, Kennedy International. Flying is American Airlines. Flight is uh, American 101. We're going to be flying, well, let me first tell you where we're at. You can see gate 44. <coughs> this is Terminal 8. It's uh, the American Airlines terminal at Kennedy. They do have a hub there. Uh, gate 44, flying the uh, 737-800. This is a real-world flight, so we're mimicking uh, real-world. <coughs> uh, apologies for my throat. I have a bit of a dry throat, so I'll try not to uh, to make too much noise. <coughs> um, right, so this was a requested flight. We're going down to Washington uh, National, Reagan, uh, for the river visual. The wind is out of the south at 8 knots, so it's favorable for the river visual. We can make that work. Um, so, yeah, we're using Active Sky 16, Rex Soft Clouds. Uh, if you're wondering how to make your sim look like this, a lot of people say what settings you're using, what textures are you, are you using. There's a video for that. Uh, I just uploaded a, a settings video. <coughs> and also, uh, uh, earlier um, today, actually, just as I was getting ready, re ready to record, I saw that I went over a thousand subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been fun. I don't know if there's anything more that I need to mention, or if we should just go ahead and get started. I can say that the plane has been boarded and that fuel is on board. All the doors are closed up. We'll pull the jetway and start the pre-flight. Um, yeah. I think that's kind of uh, all I need to say. If I have forgotten something, please remind me um, as the jetway disappears. Uh, and or if you have a question, feel free to ask. But uh, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. Yeah, American 101, service from Kennedy to Reagan National. I'll see you guys in the flight deck. All right, guys, welcome into the flight deck. Uh, 737-800 standard setup, nothing all that fancy about it. You've all seen this a hundred times before. You know, uh, I do wish that there were more aircraft to fly in. I'll say that much right now. I don't want to take away from the flight, so, uh, or or take too much time, go on too long of a rant. But I'll just say that uh, at some point, as a content creator, you feel kind of, um, I don't want to say irresponsible, but you feel somewhat lackluster when you're only producing content with so many planes. And yeah, there's some decent GA planes. Uh, sure, I'll give you that. But I'm not much of a GA guy, and I really want this channel to be focused on IFR. That's what I enjoy. And you pretty much have the Airbus and the NGX and the Q400 as reliable, um, or somewhat reliable, add-on aircraft to fly. And so you really are limited, and I'm still attempting to learn how to fly the Q400. But, so yeah. You guys have all seen it before, but I hope it's so interesting in its own way each and every time. If you have any recommendations on how to uh, include some variety, I'm all ears. At any rate, let's go ahead and get started. So, we can get the passenger signs on, given that we are boarded. Uh, get the window heat on at this point. <coughs> uh, packs, research, fine. Isolation valve, good to go. Bleeds are all... Yeah, that's good. And the trim air. We need to set the pressurization panel. We're going up to flight level 260. So 26,000 feet will be our flight altitude. And the landing elevation at Reagan, according to the charts, is... Let's take a look. 14 feet, so that rounds down to zero. This doesn't need to be touched at all. Okay. So... Let's get down here to the radio panel, and I don't bl or yeah, no, we do have ATC, don't we? We are on VATSIM, and ground is online on 121.9, so let's give them a call and uh, get our clearance. 121.9, there we are. 
Kennedy Ground, uh, good afternoon. It's American 101 IFR to Reagan National. American 101 Kennedy Ground, hello. You are clear to Reagan National. Kennedy for your departure, radar vectors of AV, event is filed. Climb via the third, top of the 5000. Back 502201 minutes after. Support two is offline, squawk 1526. American 101 is cleared to Reagan National via the Kennedy 3 departure. Radar vectors wavy, then as filed. Climb via SID, maintain 5,000. Uh, we'll expect amended altitude, flight level 220, one zero minutes after departure. Departure offline, squawk 1526. American 101, the readback is correct. Person started at your discretion. It's not really the local three zero three one. Okay, we have the altimeter 3031, uh, and uh, didn't catch the, the runway to expect for departure, if we could get that. Um, American 101, expect runway 13 right. Roger, 13 right, thanks, uh, American 101. Okay, so there we go, we got our clearance, lots of information, good information, stuff to have, I jotted that all down. So, let's come down here to the radio panel. We'll put in our squawk. One. Five. Whoops, that's not what I want. One. Five. Two. And six. There we go. Squawk <coughs> is now in. Uh, departure is going to be 122.8. And we can get into the FMS zone. So, we're here at KJFK. Use the GPS here to align the IRS. Going from KJFK to KDCA for the river visual. Runway uh, for departure is going to be 13 right, which is awesome. That's what we had prepared for. Flight number is American 101. And the routing is we're radar vectors to wavy. From Wavy, we go direct to MJ. MJ to join the J174 upper al altitude airway. Uh, take that to Zizzy. From Zizzy direct to ATR, that is a VOR of some kind. I do not know the name of it off the top of my head. Whoops. Direct to. Uh, yeah, the Waterloo VOR, that's the one. Uh, Victor 308, join that airway at that point. And take that to Laughlin. And then we join the arrival. So there's that. Uh, activate, execute, we'll drop our departure on top. Uh, it's the Kennedy 313 right, and the arrival is the deal 2 for runway 19er, Laughlin transition, and we'll take the RNAV 19er and kind of use it as an RNAV visual instrument hybrid type of approach. And the Fergie transition, uh, yeah, you want this transition to transition onto the uh, river visual. So we'll take it. Zero fuel weight, this will auto compute and auto fill like so. Our reserve fuel is uh, 5,000 pounds exactly. Cost index will make it 38. Flight level is 220. That was amended. We had planned for 260. Winds at cruise, I don't believe we really need those. We won't worry about it. Top of climb outside air temperature, however, is minus 21. We can easily enter that, so let's do it. Unable 280 at deal, that's fine. Our takeoff performance, we do have a D rate then. Uh, it's going to be a 22k D rate. 56 on the uh, assumed OAT with a flap setting of, whoops, flap setting of flaps 1. Center of gravity 22.2%, trim 5.33, that auto fills, and we'll take the V-speed straight over. And there we go, the, uh, the FMS pre-flight is complete. So let me set the parking brake. We'll fire up the APU. 
Set the MCP V2 139 initial heading. <coughs> Let's uh, brief the departure. So take off runway 13 right, 13 left, 13 right. Climb on a sign heading. Then, uh, let's see here. Okay, climb on a sign heading. Then, uh, via radar vectors to assigned route, fix, maintain 5000. This guy can't give us radar vectors, he's just a ground controller. Wavy is going to be to a slight right hand turn. It's uh, one three, so we'll fly a one. <coughs> excuse me, a one six zero heading on departure. Top altitude five thousand feet. Flight directors can come up. We'll set up the NDs like so. <coughs> and with that done, let's just go ahead and set our altimeter, and then we'll be good to go. And I just heard the APU come alive as well. So the altimeter here. 3031. That is now set. Yep, APU is alive, so we'll transfer power to the APU gens. Yaw damper can come on as well. We can get rid of the jetway at this point. And we'll call over the ground crew for pushback and start. We're going to want our nose to the right, tail to the left. So let's get rid of some ground connections here. Ground power, the air conditioning can go, ground power can go, chocks can go. Set the transponder since we're about ready for push and start. Fuel pumps can come on, anti-collision light can come on, fuel pumps, the, uh, the center ones are off, we don't need to worry about those. We don't have any fuel in the center tanks. Flight deck, this is Grand Crew, stand by for pushback. Cool, so we are ready to go. We could set the isolation valve to auto. Uh, you can leave that open for engine start, or you can set it to auto. I think most SOPs for airlines want it on auto. <coughs> Locking gear. So, we'll let the ground crew do their thing. Then we'll push back and start our engines two, then one. We'll end up uh, on the apron here, and we'll taxi out probably via Bravo. Nose gear steering disconnected for push. Release parking brakes. Okay, brakes release. Okay, here we go. All clear behind the aircraft. Safe to start engines at your discretion. And we'll start number two. All engines clear. Start that wheel. So up comes number two. We're looking for uh, N2 to rise and N1 to rise, looking for 25% N2 or about two and a half percent N1, and then at that point we'll feed in fuel to uh, to engine number two. So there is 23 percent N2, 24 percent N2, and 25 percent fuel going into engine number two. Just gorgeous. The scenery is so nice. FS Dream Team <coughs> generally makes pretty nice sceneries. Their software is kind of buggy in my opinion, but I like their sceneries. And there's a good start on number two. You could hear the starter cutout, and we'll start engine number one. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Let me get a drink. I'm sorry, guys. My throat. Set parking brakes, please. I don't know what kind of pushback that was. That was just strange. Anyway, there's 25% and 2 will feed fuel and then to number 1. That was just a very bizarre pushback. They didn't push us back in any direction, really. <laughs> that was where we started, right there. And they just kind of pushed us back, offset to the left. That was weird. Oh, well. Unlocking gear. Nose wheel steering connected, pins removed, tow vehicle disconnected. Okay, there's a good start on engine number one. 
We can transfer power to the engine generators, the APU can go, the APU bleed can go, the packs can go to auto. Electric hydraulics and propeat both uh, on start switches to continuous, auto throttle armed, auto brake to RTO. We already have the transponder set. We'll get the taxi light on. We'll check our flight controls real quickly. Clear behind the aircraft, left and right. Let me uh, adjust my rudder pedals here for just a moment. Okay, yeah, flight controls look good to go. So, power's been transferred uh, onto the engine gens. The APU is gone, as well as the APU bleed. The packs and the hydraulics and the probe heat are taken care of. <coughs> we'll set our flaps to flaps 1. We will set our trim. Our uh, trim for takeoff is 5.33 units. That's it, right about there. Uh, the flight controls have been checked. The taxi lights on. The transponder is set. So, I believe auto throttle is armed. Auto brake is good to go. Yep. So, let's taxi on out at this point. We will call up ground. I don't think they have an ATIS up, so we have no ATIS information to give him. <coughs> <coughs> As I take a sip of coffee to try and soothe my throat. <coughs> <coughs> Whew! Excuse me, guys. I might have to edit this a bit to make up for my hacking. Or to not expose you to it. At any rate, let me call ground. After I take a, a sip of water. Uh, ground, American 101, ready for taxi. American 101, when I want three right, taxi, left, bravo, November, Papa, Papa, Charlie. One three, right, one, three, right, left, bravo, November, Papa, Papa, Charlie, American 101. Okay, so there's our taxi, brakes released, and we'll start out, we'll swing a right here, and head out to one three, right. Uh, ground, it's American 101. Uh, could we get Papa Alpha, uh, off 1-3 right for departure? American 101, say where you like to again? Uh, yeah, c just wondering if we could get <coughs> intersection Papa Alpha for departure. American 101, you can take Papa Alpha. Uh, roger, we'll take Papa Alpha, thanks, American 101. Okay, so I just called him up asking if we could get Papa Alpha. It's a sh slightly shorter taxi. And, um. American 101, in that case, you may switch to Unicorn on 122.8 and have my sample up. Okay, well, monitor Unicorn 122.8. Thanks for the help. So long, American 101. So I got the weather radar on here as Papa Alpha. As I was saying, it's just a slightly shorter taxi. So we'll get the transponder to TARA, like so. We'll get our lights on. And I believe that we are ready to go. Don't need the retracts, really. Don't need the taxi light on, either. The uh, the turnoffs and the, uh, the inboards will do fine. And we'll start the clock and be on our way. Okay, let's do this. Forty percent engines are stable. Take off. Airspeed is alive. N1 heading select toga are enunciated on the PFD. There's 80 knots. Thrust hold now enunciated. V1. V1. V2. Okay, 
Okay, there's a positive rate. Gear up. Fly runway heading till 400 feet. There's 400 feet heading select, and we will turn right to a 160 heading. Gears up, <coughs> no lights, gear off, auto brake off. Okay, there is climb thrust. We will take a level change and we'll bug up to flaps one speed, plus a few knots. We'll go about 182. So the gear is up and off, the auto brake is off, we'll bring in the flaps here in just a moment. Let's bring them up, flaps up. Start switches can go to their off position. The autopilot is going in. And we'll get the turnoffs off at this point. So let's proceed direct to Wavy. We will at this point go VNAV and LNAV. We can bug our altitude up to 220, I believe we were given, uh, for our cruising altitude, 220. And there we are. Get the, uh, the landing lights off at 10,000, but that won't be till a little while, and we can enjoy these really incredible views. Wow, that's gorgeous. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, yeah, that does us good. We'll continue on our way on out of here. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, this isn't a particularly long flight, so it won't be long until... won't be long at all until we're getting down to Reagan. At any rate, guys, uh, enjoy some of the views, and I will check in as we're getting ready to descend. Welcome back in the flight deck, guys. <coughs> We're coming up on our top of descent here, a little under, a little over, a little 67 miles, a little under 80 miles until top of descent. So let's just give you a rundown. 
what we're about to do and uh and yeah 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 so i'll explain uh <coughs> how we're gonna get down into uh into dca into reagan national so first things first we need to reset the mcp altitude the arrival takes us down <coughs> Actually, uh, when we intercept on the river visual, we basically, we, we have an RNAV descent. And then our transition is Fergie onto the river visual. And Fergie's going to be at 3,000 feet. So we'll set the MCP altitude to 3,000 feet. Pressurization panel is fine. That's taken care of. We do not have an ILS frequency or course. Uh, this is going to be visual slash RNAV. We'll use an auto break of two. It is a fairly short runway, so we'll want to get slowed down quickly. We could even use an auto break of three, but we'll we'll go with two. I think that'll do us. Now, if I open up charts for the uh, for the RNAV, what we're going to do is kind of a hybrid, rather, if I could speak, between a, uh, a visual and an RNAV. We'll use the RNAV to get us on the approach course, and then we'll take out the autopilot and take it visually from there. Now the minimums on the RNAV, if we wanted to use them, are 491 on the barometric altimeter, so we'll set 491, like so, there we go. <coughs> uh, as far as the approach information goes, I will can show you guys this, I'll walk you through it real quickly. So uh, we're currently tracking to Zizi. We're then, so this is basically the uh, the flight plan. At Laughlin, we join the arrival. Now the arrival takes us down, and this is where I should zoom out a little bit so you can see this slightly better. Join the arrival basically puts us on a left downwind, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to uh, just drop Fergie on top of that vector and proceed direct from Megs to Fergie and make that sweeping 180 degree left hand turn that you see here onto the final approach course and then this is the the course on the RNAV into the uh <coughs> into the runway so basically you track along the river here and then you make that right hand turn over the bridge uh onto the runway so that's kind of the uh the approach very uh very briefly there in a nutshell With that said, the last thing we can do is calculate our uh, our landing speed. So we have 10,000 pounds on board, and we're estimated to have 8.6 at DCA. It's a difference of about a uh, pound and a half, a thousand pounds and a half. So uh, our gross weight will be about 118 then at DCA. That'll give us flaps 30, landing speed 134 knots. And there's our landing speed in. So with all of that done, uh, we're totally taken care of. We're in good shape. We're ready to uh, to descend. And so yeah, enjoy the views on the way down, guys. And I will bring you back as uh, as we're making that left hand turn and beginning the approach. It'll be fun. See you soon.
Alright guys, welcome back into the flight deck. So, we're down under 10,000 feet at 5,000 feet. In fact, altimeter is set to the local setting here at Reagan, uh, 3022. The landing lights came on at 10,000 feet, and uh, we're on our left down one. You can see we're going to make this sweeping left-hand turn and then enter the, uh, the or not enter, just rather follow the river down the runway. So, we're getting pretty close here thought I'd show you the uh, the majority of this approach. So there's our deceleration point down to 210. We'll see if speed starts to drop or if we need to pull a bit of spoiler. We'll start to pull out a bit of spoiler actually to help the plane along with that decel. We will go speed intervene. We'll keep it at 210 and I will bring out flaps 1. Given that we're at 4,000 feet, I'll get the start switches to continuous. gorgeous scenery as it's uh, mid-September and some of the leaves appear to be uh, changing a bit. Some of those oranger uh, autumn colors. Okay, speed's coming down nicely. We're just about over Meg's. Going to make that left-hand turn then. Uh, once we roll out of this turn, we'll drop the speed down to 180. There's a thousand to go for three thousand. Okay, now 180 on the speed. And flaps five coming out. Bring it all the way down to uh, 167. Now, the FMS may get confused here. I've done this flight before and it kind of the track to Fergie gets mixed up with the track to Derek. In fact, we might just proceed direct Derek to uh, save ourselves some trouble. Let's do that because otherwise the FMS may get a bit confused. So direct to Derek we go. And we're looking. There's the river in sight right here, the whole visual portion of this. So what we're going to do at this point, we're on about a 10-mile final. So I will start to hand fly the plane here. Go around altitude, 3,000 feet is set. I have control. We're flying it visually so the flight directors can go out at this point. And also, uh, something to mention, the wind shifted. So, what that means is that we're going to have a little bit of a tailwind. Uh, but I didn't come this far not to shoot the river visual, so we're going to shoot it anyway. Um, and uh, I set an auto break of 3 for that reason. So, let's put the speed brake away. Once we hit Derek, we'll drop the gear, arm the spoilers. And our landing speed is... If I take a look here, stand by. Uh, 134. Perfect. Okay, so gear down, spoilers armed, flaps 15, 134. Does it think that we're in a, a climb then? I'm not sure. We'll take flaps 30, get all of our lights on. And uh, we're fully configured to land at this point. Just standing by in the auto throttle, I will take that out uh, in a bit. Altitude's good. And as we come out over the bridges here and kind of roll out of this turn, I will then take out the auto throttle. Little low, just pull up a bit, little bit of up trim, shallow out that descent.
Okay, the auto throttle's out. I have control of the throttles. You can see the wind catching us a good bit there. Thousand feet is checked, we are stable and continuing. A little bit high, let's pull out some throttle and let the plane settle down a bit. Get a bit of a natural descent there going. We don't want to come out on the power too much though and dangerously lose speed, so you can see the speed's dropping there, so we're gonna hop back on. But that just helped us kind of initiate a bit of a descent there. Looking good, looking good. Coming up on those minimums. minimums. There are our minimums. We are landing. Hopefully. Let's see how this turn to final goes. Float it a bit, let's see if we can't stick it. Okay, reversers are out. Hold the nose up. Auto brakes working. There's 60 knots and I am manually braking. And we are down there. Uh, a little sketchy, I'll give you that. Yeah, I definitely came in a bit high there, no doubt about that, um, and a little bit fast as well. Uh, do bear in mind <laughs> before you get uh, before you're too hard on me. Do bear in mind that we had uh, kind of a crosswind there, changing to a tailwind as we turned to final. So uh, it wasn't ideal, but yeah, I could have done a better job. That all worked out though. Um, we did miss the landing zone, which generally would be an automatic go around, but I, I knew I had an auto brake of three set. And so I kind of, uh, I, I, I figured that we would be fine there, but technically, yeah, we should have gone missed. So let's get the plane cleaned up, get rid of our, uh, our radar, can take care of the spoilers and the flaps. I'm gonna swing a right here onto taxiway Charlie. weather radar off, keep it that way. Clean up the NDs as well, set the transponder, get our lights taken care of, the strobe can go off, landing lights, etc. Fire up the APU, start switches, and we can stop the clock. That was a 51 minute flight. That was, yeah, quite quick, quite quick indeed. Okay, so we're going to gate uh, let me see if I can find my uh, notepad where I wrote down our gate. Here it is. Uh, gate Charlie 45. So I will see you guys once we're there. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Here's our gate. Gate 45. Just up here on the left. So we'll swing it on in there. Get rid of the taxi light here. And we will set the transponder as well to standby, like so. And we'll get parked up. There's some marshaller back there. It's a cool looking terminal. I like the uh, the reflections that they uh, designed in there. Is this Tropical Sim who makes DCA? I believe this is Tropical Sim scenery. I could be mistaken though. Uh, the marshaller appears to be a little offset from the actual place that we want to park so we'll uh, we'll kind of ignore him even though he wants us to track a bit to the left inch on forward till he is happy okay there we are 
brakes are set. Power going to the uh, APU generators. The engines can go. Anti-collision light can go. Get rid of the passenger signs. Electric hydraulics. Probe heat. Window heat. Whoops. Uh, the packs can go. Isolation valve can stay where it is. Let's get the APU bleed on. The yawn damper can go. Close up some fuel pumps here, and we'll get ground connections in. So, let's connect to ground power. Let's get rid of the APU and the fuel pumps. And that is the aircraft cleaned up. We could open up some doors and deboard ourselves as well if we wanted to. <coughs> Excuse me, I am sorry, guys. Okay, so there are our doors. And uh, GSX can do their thing. I don't think that these jetways move. No, they don't appear to. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the flight. That was a lot of fun. I don't see any sense in, like, cutting the video here and jumping outside the aircraft to do a wrap-up. There's just really no point. Like, I've been doing that and have realized that there's, there's no use for it. I'll just uh, wrap it up here, so... Yeah, aircraft is cleaned up and shut down. The ground crew would come over and deboard us. The jetway would move. And uh, I hope you, again, I hope you all enjoyed the flight. The river visual was always fun. If you have any other flights you'd like to see, let me know. I can't promise that I will do it, but I will at least consider it. Um, again, a thousand subscribers. That's awesome, guys. Maybe we will do a group flight one of these days if the interest is there. Um, as always, shameless self-plug. Check out my Twitch if you like live streamed flights. Uh, and Twitter and Facebook are the social media outlets that you can interact with me through. Uh, as always, questions, comments are always, 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 always welcome. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing more to be said, guys. I hope you all stay safe and take care, and I will see you next time. So long.